Uh, hi, I'm Curtis Sharp Morgan and I'm the head coach of the LG Direwolves. So we're fortunate enough to get a bit of a partnership with the SCG in which we can use the facilities, one of which is the Esports High Performance Center. It's just really great for training. We do all our training here. We don't live here, which is like kind of been a massive benefit to be able to split the, the living with the, I guess, workplace. So you, you can like switch on when you're at work and then be able to switch off when you're home. Um, so a lot different than last year. Last year we had the full gaming house experience um, in Piedmont, uh, which was really awesome, but it's, I think it's really refreshing to actually have a proper office space now. So the purpose of the eSports High Performance Centre is to merge traditional sports science and eSports together, um, which is why we have this place set up so that we can get the best results out of our teams um, and give them the best, I guess, opportunities to, to develop as players and as professionals. Um, to be more competitive on a global stage. So within the Esports High Performance Center, we've got multiple rooms. We've got a solo queue room. We've got uh, other computers set up for more casual games. If you want to relax and play Battlegrounds or Fortnite or whatever. You've also got the actual scrim room, which um, is just for pure practice and to make sure we have the high intensity games. Uh, I've got just hot desks everywhere if you want to you know, put in your laptop and just do a bit of work or whatever it is, a bit of content. We have a streaming room, um, a conference room to do meetings. Uh, couch chill out area down in the back where the guys are watching some Fortnite at the moment. And then we also have a little kitchen area where we can prep meals and um, yeah, have lunch and stuff like that. The guys get all the benefits um, that every other team does. So we're next door, Sydney Swans, Roosters on the other side, we've got Australian Cricket, the Wallabies, everyone around here. So the guys get access into the gyms and all the PTs, they get swimming pools, they've got tennis courts, indoor outdoor cricket courts, squash courts, full gym facilities. Um, it's an amazing, all the latest tech in the gym downstairs, um, saunas, spas, steam rooms, everything that you could want on the physical side, um, which has been a, a big thing, which has been great for here as well, because the guys actually have been using it, they've been getting out, and we keep them really active and healthy outside of just in the game. We have a morning meeting starting at around 10.15, that goes till 11. Um, and then that within that we kind of prep for the day um, for our first morning block of scrims which goes from 11 till 2 and then we have an hour and a half break which is a bit of a bit of debrief we have another meeting um, as well as lunch sometimes the guys go out for a walk or they do some exercise gym whatever that type of stuff then we have another scrim block from 3 30 till 6 30 and then that kind of that picks up that's that's all the practice done for the day, so that's all the second block. And then after that, we usually have dinner and chill. Some people want to solo queue at night. Sometimes we do a team VOD review. And yeah, that kind of rounds out the day. So obviously you've got the, the obvious performance boost in terms of being able to raise the intensity during training and actually have rooms for dedicated you know, scrims and practice and solo queue and that type of stuff and, and meetings. But then you've also got um, the ability to, to kind of go home and if you don't want to look at League of Legends, you know, yeah, you've got the ability to be able to, okay, I don't want to look at a computer screen anymore and I can actually go home and switch off and or talk to my friends or meet with some friends or or just completely switch off from electronics, which you don't, we didn't really get the chance to, to do that in, in PMI. The Nexus is exposed, members will come back up and available, but they can just play it slow. In goes tilting, down goes triple, no, the Nexus dies and die will take a clean 2-0. No, but it, it, it's really great. It's good to see the, I guess, the principle come into practice. Um, it's an idea that Dave Harris and I had a long time ago and then now it's sort of rolling out. And obviously with the guys being undefeated through the season, 9-0 so far, um, it's hopefully showing and I, th I think that they're feeling that it's really helping their game. Yeah, well, 100%. Like, the contrast from last year to this year is like, it's ridiculous. So. The, the biggest challenge last year was when you have conflict in game and you're a bit angry, you know, you may have had a rough game or a rough series and you just kind of, you just kind of want to go to your room and or switch off, you want to like just not see like someone for a while, you just need, need time to think. It's really hard when you live in the same space that you work, as well as after practice, sometimes you just really want to just unwind and maybe do something unrelated to League of Legends, but all you can hear in the house is people screaming in the background playing games or whether it's you hear over here conversation about the game. So you can never really fully switch off. We're a 10 minute walk from the office to the house. So the walk itself is a way to like, it's like a physical, it's like a representation of like, are you actually leaving the office where you're not just like mentally, but physically um, both sides of it. You're just letting go. I'm done for the day. Now it's my time to unwind. And then you're ready 
and pumped for the next day on your walk back, already thinking about what you want to do. And I think it's like a really good, that that transition and that walk, that 10 minute walk can, is actually really, really good for the guys to actually get mentally prepared and mentally unwind.